for our mini hydro, we connect three water turbine in series connection. From that combination, we manage to get 12 volt with that current water flow. This 12 volt that has been generated by our mini hydro will supply the power to the solar charge controller. After that, we connect the mini hydro to the solar charge controller and then we connect the lead acid battery as our energy storage and DC lamp as our load to the solar charge controller. The solar symbol at the solar charge controller indicates that the solar charge controller receives voltage from the turbine and it charges the lead acid battery. For the energy monitoring, we use voltage sensor to detect the voltage of the system, current sensor to detect the current of the system, and relay to control the on-off of the load from the blink apps. As we can see from the blink apps, it indicates the voltage reading, current reading, and power of the whole system. Because of the limitation of the connectivity, when the connection of blink apps is low, it cannot precisely update the energy usage from the load. Beside that, in the blink apps also have three buttons to control the on-off of the three DC lamp. As we can see from the side of whole system in this video, we manage to control the DC lamp from the blink apps without disrupt any connection from the system. Thank you for your attention.